Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kings of Desperado here. And today I'm going to be doing a two, actually two Ocarina reviews. The first Ocarina I'm going to do is a Sweet Potato Ocarina, uh, Legend of Zelda themed Ocarina from Songbird Ocarina. And also from Songbird Ocarina, the the four, four hole um, Nemo. It's like a Nemo one looking one. It's a Nemo Ocarina. It's a pendant. So I'll be reviewing this and I'll tell you how, how it sounds and everything else. Okay, so to start off, we'll start off with Nemo. So, let me see if I can get it. This is the Nemo one. As you can see, it comes with the, um, it's four hole arena. It's very nice. It's very, it's very nice. It's $15 if you count shipping, $9.95. So, it's $15 for this. You blow through the tail. So, here's a hole. And it's very nice. It's very, it's ceramic. It's really nice. And it's good. It comes with the the string, the orange string. That's good. So this is my first green actually, so I really liked it. And this comes with um this comes with the receipt. So you get your receipt with it. And along with that you get it comes in it comes it comes in a box kinda of like this. A little bit smaller. This goes to the other green one because I threw the other one away. So it comes in a box like this. And when you open the box up here, you will find a little songbook like this. It will say um, "Song Brokers" on the front, and then on the back, it will give you a little bit of a a little bit of a tutorial how to blow and everything, different um, scales to read me Tito. And then over here, you'll have your songs. It has about let me see, um, six seventy nine. It's about 12, 11, 12 songs, I think. Let me count again. Five, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, twelve songs. Okay, so it has twelve songs. I mean, it's really, it's really a lot for that little ocarina. So you, you can master all these songs. So, I mean, they're they're not none of them are really hard, but it, some of them take a while to master. But overall, they're really good ocarinas. So, I'm guessing you want to know what it sounds like. It's a very high pitch ocarina. Well, it's a high pitch, but it's not like super high pitch. So, I mean, it's not extremely bad, but it's pretty good. So I guess I'll, I'll play you La Cuca. Uh, how about on top of old Smokey just to just to get it in the spirit, okay? All right. So let me fix this. All right. So here's on top of old Smokey. about ocarina i mean for the price and size it's good for anyone who's a beginner or if you have like a young like probably a if you have a child that's seven eight around the elementary middle school years it's a really good ocarina to get them started to get their ocarinas all right moving on so once again here is the goldfish ocarina all right Let's move on to the sweet potato ocarina here is the Sweet Potato Ocarina. It is a very, very nice. It is very nice. As you can see, it has the Triforce. Four holes in the front. In the back, you have your two holes to, for scaling. And then you have the where the air comes out. And... Oh, yeah, the Triforce. Um, it's really... It's... it's um <clears throat> On the website, you see um a video of Mr. Songbird playing the... Um, the um, ocarina. It looks a bit darker, but this one's actually a bit lighter, as you can see. So uh, I thought it was gonna be dark, but it's really nice. And with this ocarina, it came with this is the original box it came in, and it also came with the little songbook. But it also came with another songbook, the ocarina songbook. The bigger one it has a ton of songs, and yeah, it was about. Four forty four ninety five plus shipping about fifty one or something, and yeah, it's, it's it's like a it's probably the next level up from four. It's very easy to play as well as well. I mastered it within minutes. I mean, it's really easy to play once you have the four one. Once you've learned the four one, it's really easy to get into this the the sixth one. So, all right, let's move on. So I guess you want to hear what this sounds like. So let's pick a song. How about? 
How about Song of Time? Because this is the uh, Zelda. So this is an Ocarina song, but it has tons of Legend Zelda songs. I mean, lots of them. So we'll part, we'll play Song of Time and see how it sounds. And once again, I've had this for a while, so I know what it sounds like. So don't worry. <clears throat> and I like to cover the bottom both holes when I play, just to give it a better tune. Because look, here's what it sounds like without it. And here's what it sounds with it. And it just sounds like a flute, so... Alright, here's Song of Time. <laughs> I think I messed up there. I kind of went... No, I kind of rushed there, but... Anyways, it's very nice. It's a bit of a deeper tone. The tone of it is very... Is deeper than the um, Goldfish one. Or you can say Nemo. So, it's... I mean, it's a really good ocarina. I, I liked it for the price. It was my second one. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, it, I played it forever, and I still do. Alright, guys. That's it. Those are my ocarinas that I have so far. And I actually have another ocarina from STL Ocarinas that I will be reviewing next. So, you'll probably see that within a day or so, or maybe an hour or so. Because I'm going to open it right after this one, maybe. So stay tuned for more Ocarina reviews and Yu-Gi-Oh! reviews, and I'll see you guys later.